Recording's on. So again, this is Succeed in the New Gig Economy. Appreciate you being here. Hello and thanks for taking time to join me on this free webinar. In this presentation, you'll discover what the gig economy is, why you should start an online business in this new economy, which type of online business to choose, uh, the industry that we recommend, the growing market to choose, the benefits uh, that are available with working an online business. So obviously, I'm going to try to keep it fairly short and sweet tonight, so I'm not going to go into any deep scope of this. That's something you guys can dig into later. So first of all, let's talk about, well, what, what actually is the gig economy? Uh, it's... You may not know this, but a trend toward a new economy has already begun, and they call it the gig economy. And it's really, you know, like when you have a gig, a side hustle, a small little part-time uh, something, right? Um, and it's, uh, it's an environment in which temporary positions are common and organizations contract with independent workers for short-term engagements. And a study by Intuit predicted that by 2020, 40% of American workers would be independent contractors. This is the biggest economic shift really of our lifetime and the impact on the workforce is real and permanent. And the reality is you may not actually have noticed this yet. Maybe you have a job that something like that wouldn't, uh, wouldn't create an issue with, but maybe you do. So it's really, it's a new era. It's a new reality. The question is, are you prepared if this may impact you? And if it doesn't impact you, it may impact your, you know, your children. I've got three daughters and it's something that certainly would concern me. You know, in this new economy, the middle class income is quickly disappearing. 70% of all Americans make less than 50,000 a year. And the new economy requires fewer employees. So we have more people competing for the same job. Old models of making a living, unfortunately, are just not as reliable as they used to be. So if your fingers are by the keyboard, go ahead and just let me know if, you're, if you know somebody who's experienced this where maybe they've been downsized, some of the business has been outsourced, uh, some of this possibly impacts them, or if you think it maybe could possibly impact uh, you. I'm just going to minimize my little window here so it's not in my way. Uh, Jeffrey and Diane, uh, Joanne. Uh, so that's the real problem right there. That's to me, that's why I put that in blue, is that old models of making a living are just not as reliable as they used to be. And it's something that maybe a lot of people aren't quite prepared for. And the question is, is how do you plan to build economic security? Because this could happen to you. In this new economy, is it better to become an entrepreneur? There's risk in that. Or is it safer to work for someone else? Uh, that's a decision that you have to make on your own terms. But in our search for a better way to make a living, we've come to the conclusion that becoming an entrepreneur is actually safer in the long run than being an employee, even though it's not always easier, that's for sure. Uh, myself, I've been an entrepreneur now since, you know, working completely on my own, not, uh, not being an employee since 2004. So over, what's that now? Um, over 10 years anyways. And one of the best ways to becoming an entrepreneur is by starting an online business. And this is a key word, in an expanding market. So the question might be, well, why even start an online business? I mean, there's lots of businesses out there and there's lots of great businesses. But uh, I know for me, online has been nice because it's mobile. I mean, here I am, I'm not in my office. That's why it looks like I'm in a bedroom. <laughs> I'm in a hotel room here uh, in Manila. So I'm traveling at the moment. And as long as you have a reliable internet connection and you know the right gear, uh, you can work. So that's certainly something that did not apply to me in my previous life, which was as a retail store manager uh, I was trapped in the mall. <laughs> so you've probably heard that e-commerce is exploding. In fact, spending online continues to rise each year and online businesses continue to see explosive growth. I think it's going to be $4 trillion or something of like that worldwide by 2020. Chinese billionaire Jack Ma thinks that 80% of businesses will be done online in the near future. You may not know him, but he's the CEO of Ali, well, and founder of Alibaba, uh, an online business. Uh, you know, mega giant sort of up there with Amazon. He even goes on to say that the power of the giant company is on the decline as more small businesses get exposure with the internet. So with your own online business, you could have a part 
in this incredible potential. So here are five great reasons to start online. Number one, it's affordable. You don't have a big overhead to deal with. My family, we bought a dog kennel as our first uh, entry into business and that was like $300,000. You don't have anything close to that. Now, you can spend a lot of money like I have in, in my business as we scaled up and, and what we've developed uh, from infrastructure and stuff like that, but I certainly didn't start that way. It's also simple. And by the way, the business model that I'm going to recommend does not require all of the hardware and stuff that I've ended up doing because I've kind of gone on a bit of a side path that helps folks get into online, and I'll explain that in a bit. Uh, it's simple. It's profitable. Uh, at least, well, it can be if you're in the right market and you know, you've know you got a good product, things like that. It's also, it can be very low risk because again, you don't have such a massive uh, startup cost and you can keep your current job. Is there anybody here that has their own business? I know my cousin Kim here, she does. Uh, she's got a gym and I can only imagine the cost of setting that up with all the hardware and everything like that. And I see Joan might have raised a hand. I don't know if you meant to, Joan. Go ahead and type in there if you've got a question. But if you guys have, an, have your you know, experience with business, feel free to share with us. Hey, Emily, thanks for joining. <laughs> nice to see you. Um, so which online business would you choose? That's the question. Well, there are several ways to start a business online. So here are a few of them. You could become an Amazon reseller or an eBay reseller or on Etsy or something like that. So basically, you're selling someone else's product. Um, you could do freelance work online. So you could do digital. So that's, um, I mean, you know, you're, you're kind of an employee. You could be kind of an employee, sort of a, a contractor, but you could also uh, outsource some of your work possibly and then really create that as a business. Uh, of course, you need to have some skills for that. You need to be a graphic designer or a coder or something like that. Um, the one challenge with that is you, you, unless you're just working on someone else's project, then you have to build something that you could then resell yourself. Uh, you can become an affiliate marketer. So unlike, you know, as an Amazon reseller, you're just reselling, you know, one product, that's it. Um, but with an affiliate, as an affiliate marketer, you are reselling someone else's product However, you, um, there, just, there are some differences to that in, and I'm not gonna really get into all of that now, but uh, you could also become a distributor in the networking industry. And uh, that's how I started. And that's actually how many of our, you know, how many of our guests are um, earning online now. Some of them actually have a bit of a mix between being an affiliate marketer, because uh, if you could call it that, maybe not an affiliate marketer, but more like they have their own, uh, like a coaching business, for example, and then they back end with a network marketing product line. Uh, and that would be something, again, for somebody, say, who owns a gym or they're a, they're a health professional, health services professional, like they're in massage or something. They could uh, use that as their primary business model and then they back end with some sort of a product line. Because the reality is, you know, if you're a chiropractor or a massage therapist or you own a gym and people are coming in, well, you want as many products as you can offer to them that helps them reach their goals and so that you can scale. Otherwise you're basically, there's two ways of making money, right? You either get more customers or you got to get more money from your customers that you already have. And it's a lot easier, honestly, to get more from those that you already have than to find more uh, customers. Now you could also do what I have done and that is to create a software as a service company. And that's where uh, you build your own software and then you rent it out so people utilize it. It's not just software. It could be something, some sort of a membership type thing. Maybe you're a health coach and you offer training. I've got a friend that um, we actually do some, um, some social media marketing with and he, he has a yoga business and um, you know, he has the ability of being able to, to teach yoga and then, you know, put it into videos. So there's, there's ways that you can uh, uh, go that, uh, down that path. Now, all of these have pros and cons, and I prefer and recommend being a distributor. For most people who have an entrepreneurial bug that really want to um, have a crack at it, is to start the way I started. And I actually would still be a distributor. My story is a little unique uh, because that I ended up having to create business tools to help other distributors um, 
I had to go down a different path, but that is not something that I recommend for the average person like at all, because it's just, there's a ton of complexity. It's way more overhead. It's a lot of risk. Uh, what I'm recommending is that folks just consider being a distributor in the networking industry. And the nice thing about it is because you can get started. And if you decide it's not for you, you don't lose your shirt when you cut loose, you're not stuck with tons of inventory like you would if you had uh, like a clothing store or something like that. Um, so here are a few reasons why let's get into this low cost to get started, small learning curve. I mean, really in, in network marketing, you can start for less than a thousand bucks, um, less than 500 bucks. You can start for less than a hundred bucks. It's going to be a slow start, <laughs> but at least you can start. Uh, it's a small learning curve. Uh, the product, this is a big one. Product research and development is handled by the supplier. It's, you know, unless you can dedicate full-time activity towards it, the average person going to work. So for example, my, my friend who used to be my assistant manager, Emily, who's with us now, uh, who joins us, she works for Rogers. She's got to get home from the, you know, from work. She's home by 5.30. She's got to bathe, do the bath, do the dinner, do the laundry, whatever. And she doesn't have a lot of time. What time is, is really left for her to build her own products, research and all that kind of stuff. It's very, very difficult for the average person to get that going. Then there's shipping and fulfillment. So if you're at your job and somebody put places in order, are you going to run home and package it all up and send it out and all that? I mean, very difficult to do. And it's just laborious. Whereas when you connect with a supplier, in the networking industry, uh, this is handled for you. Um, this is a big one. And a lot of people may not understand the value here is you can earn residual income. And that means that you can create a customer base of people that like the product. And if you get the right kind of product where people buy it over and over because they get to the end of the bottle or the bottom of the box and they need more, uh, then they're going to buy again and you will constantly be able to earn from that. And that's where you're going to get your residual income from is customers who keep buying. That's why dentists and hairdressers will, you know, uh, as long as they, they play things well, they'll never go bankrupt <laughs> because people's hair always grows and they're always going to get cavities. And uh, you also meet some great people in the industry. And one of the reasons they're in this profession, I may want to call it, one of the reasons for that is because um, it's, it's a, well, basically it's a business that you have to learn to work with clients and put yourself out there. And so that means you have to uh, work on yourself. So when you are around a lot of people that are working on themselves to be more positive and uh, more, you know, just easier to work with, well, it's just a lot more fun. Uh, most companies also have great incentive plans. You know, these, these companies, you are the marketing arm for the network marketing company. They just make the products. So they need you to get out and market them. So therefore they're going to try to find as many sweet ways from bonus cars and trips and things like that. Uh, incentive paid trips. In fact, one of the, the gals who's with us tonight, Tara uh, Myring, she's uh, just came back from her first free all expense paid vacation. She's just got the, the thing in for uh, the little card and the little keys for her bonus car. She'll get a payment that'll allow her to put it towards a bonus car. My family has had free cars. We've gone on over 30 free vacations. So there's really a lot of uh, benefits that can be had. So these are just a few points. Let's just keep going and dig deeper into this if we could. And if you guys have any questions throughout this, any concerns, fire, fire them at us. So first of all, why the networking industry? You know, chances are maybe you've heard of network marketing. Maybe you've heard good things. Uh, maybe you haven't. There's a lot of uh, misinformation out there and there are some bad players, but let's clear the air on this if we could. Network marketing is a 60 year old industry. My family has been involved with it since 1981, so over 35 years. In 2016, the Direct Sales Association reported that there were a record 20.5 million people involved in the direct selling profession in the United States, so um, quite a bit. There's also an estimated sales of 178 billion. So obviously, um, it's for real, it's moving a lot of product give you a perspective of how significant that is on a global scale, compare that figure to other major industries that operate on a worldwide level. The music industry grossed just 15 billion. The Hollywood movie business did 88 billion and the video game industry earned 76 billion. So you can see the networking industry, the profession moves as much product as these three mega industries. 
The Direct Selling Association reports that network marketing is now conducted in more than 100 countries around the world with more than 56 million people participating. Uh, even famous investors like Robert Kiyosaki and Warren Buffett say that joining a network marketing company makes sense. And here's some benefits of this industry. You're not held back by a position or a rank uh, in a company. I mean, that's just the beautiful thing about being an entrepreneur in general is that um, you don't have a boss who's deciding, you know, where you, you know, where you can grow. Everyone has an equal opportunity to earn as much as anyone else. And that's where there's some misinformation out there. People often think that in network marketing, you go out and you recruit people to sell for you. And so you make all the money up at the top and it's not the case. The ones who do the most, who are the most productive, get the best uh, rewards. They're the ones that are compensated the most. Unless you're in some sort of a shady program that I don't know about, but um, any company worth its salt will always make sure that there's no unjust enrichment, that the folks that do the work get the most. But the beautiful thing is, is that you're compensated based on your own results, but you also do earn income off of the efforts of others. And some people may have a concern about that, but that's what happens at work. If you're a boss, you are earning from the work that's happening from folks underneath you. If you're a business owner of any type and you hire people, that's how that works. The key is, is in how you treat people and are you training people properly so you're setting them up to win. Uh, again, any program can, will never allow someone to just sit on someone else so that they can't grow and, and move forward. If you join a stable network marketing company that offers high quality products, a great compensation plan, a simple to follow system, and you put in consistent effort, your chances of success are actually very high. But again, your success depends on you. Most folks who come into any business, not just network marketing, struggle for one because they don't have the training um, and they just often don't realize the effort level and focus that it's going to take to have a business. So here's a question somebody um, often may have is, isn't network marketing a pyramid uh, or a scam? So you may have heard of the word pyramid and think it's associated with our industry, but pyramids or Ponzi schemes are where people pay money for positions or things that hold no real value to an end use consumer. These are simply scams and they're to be avoided. So again, it's where somebody sells something that just means nothing to anybody. But if you sell something that's valuable and that people would buy no matter what, then that is just business customers buying things. It just depends on the distribution method. A professional business model distributes real products that real customers happily buy and love to consume. And that's what our business is. One of the challenges people have had though in the past is that oftentimes uh, people that get into this profession, they don't get any training. They just run off and do all these silly things and say silly things. And so it's not the profession itself that's the problem. It's not the compensation structure that's the issue. It's the people. They just do some bizarre things. Is there anybody here? Um, and by the way, Donna, yes, you absolutely can share this with a prospect. That's the purpose of tonight is to be able to allow people to discover and learn about this in a no hype, no BS, no fluffy way. And then uh, if it's a fit, great. If not, that's okay. Um, but feel free to share if any of you have ever been attacked by someone who said either bizarre things or outlandish things and maybe turned you off a little bit. Um, unfortunately, that happens. And that's one of our missions uh, with what we do and the tools that we create for people is to help people be professionals about this. So let's talk about the market. Now, as I present this to you, people are going to, they're going online spending billions on the kinds of products and services that are found in our market every day, which is the health and wellness market. It's predicted that this number will skyrocket into the trillions as our society ages. So the baby boomers moving through the timeline and people turn to preventative and natural alternatives to look and feel better and live longer. And millennials are also big on that. And that's really the next wave that's um, moving forward. That demographic moving through is uh, that bulge in the timeline is what often creates big trends. And a lot of people get very wealthy when they can capitalize on trends. So starting a business today that serves 
these needs gets you in a huge expanding market. Now, I prefer and recommend this market, health and wellness, even though network marketing actually has, there's legal products and there's a variety of, you know, there's hard goods and other things like that. The key is this, many of the products are repeat use. This is a big one. It's health oriented. So obviously it's, a, it's you're, you know, you're focusing on trying to help people feel better and live a better life. And I like that. It's expanding. It helps people look and feel better. Uh, it has, you know, it's just a lot of fun and there's positive people in it. Um, I, I've always enjoyed, uh, when I was working at Foot Locker in the shoe business, it was fitness oriented. So I, I enjoyed that kind of mentality that came with that. The benefits of an online business. Let's talk about that. Um, and uh, number one, uh, you'll be your own boss. So being your own boss means that you can be like me right now, which is, um, traveling. So, uh, after this, I'm going to close up my laptop and actually I'm going to sleep for a bit. <laughs> and then I get to head out and do whatever I feel like. Um, and there's, so there's some benefits to that. Now, then there are other times, like when I get home in the office, I'm going to work my butt off because I've got a bunch of other presentations to create and a bunch of other work to do. And, but it's my choice. And I think that's, that's one thing that I love. You'll, you know, you'll be able to have lunch with the family, never miss another one of your, your kids school events. My commute is very short. Um, our office is in our building. So our room is on the first floor. We have one office on the second floor. We have another bit of living space on our third floor. So commuting for me is very easy. And for many folks that are here working online that have either just new startup businesses or some of the folks that are with us actually have uh, full fledged career oriented money making type businesses. Um, they're also living that you decide when your weekends are, you know, you can go hiking, play golf, things like that. Um, share with me if I could, those of you that are commuting to work, uh, and I'm not here to beat up on a job at all because, you know, jobs for one, um, I hire people, people work for me. And so of course I don't want to beat up a job because, uh, that'd be disrespectful to my own staff. Um, there's a place for it. I learned a ton of things in my job. I couldn't do this without what I had learned being a manager of Foot Locker. And for some people, they never want to give up their job. They love what they do and they just want a little bit of extra income. They just want to supplement what they've already got. So there's really, that's another nice thing about network marketing is that it allows you to be, it's very flexible on, on how you actually want to include this into your life. Is it going to be your full thing and you make it your everything like I did or a part-time um, gig, if you will, your side hustle. So share with me, if you could, what is your commute? So if you're working at home, guys, it's 30 seconds in your bunny slippers. That's cool. Uh, if you are working at a job, then share with me there, if you could. Is it 30 minutes? Is it an hour? What kind of commutes are we talking about? So we got 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 10 minutes down the road. My friend Emily that I was just speaking with earlier, uh, hers is 30 minutes, um, which is a lot better because she got her driver's license. It was an hour and a half, so way to go, Emily. 30 seconds, 15 seconds, I walk up the stairs, 20 minutes minimum, which isn't too bad. That's a pretty livable uh, thing. No commute, stay-at-home mom. All right, Joellen, that's a good commute, right? So for a lot of you, that's not really a big issue. Um, for Angela, oh my gosh, she drives 200 miles every day for work. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, so... You either super love your job, Angela, or you just super need your job or a bit of both. And either one and all of them is okay. Um, 30 minutes each way up the stairs sounds nice. Yeah. You know, one of the things that I love, and here's something that's special. I can be at work and my kids can come down the stairs. Now, sometimes it's a hassle when I'm with a client and I got to tell them, you know, daddy's working, so you got to go back. Uh, but there's nothing like I can just shut her down and I scoot on upstairs so that I can, you know, make sure they brush their teeth and kiss them to bed and whatever. Um, even though I can, I can work really hard, I'm still able to integrate it with my life so that my kids don't feel like daddy's gone. You know, we never see daddy. Um, they can come and visit me. My, my daughter, when she comes home from school, I get to give her a big hug every day for lunch. And then we hang out and we do lunch together. And then she goes back. I go back to work. Uh, there's really, it's just, this, it's an amazing lifestyle. So um, <laughs> let's talk about uh, income potential. So if you want to earn, you know, 500 bucks or $5,000 or a lot more, I, there are people in this industry that earn um, like over a hundred thousand dollars a month. Um, it's, there's some really big revenues out there, depending on the size of the business that you create. But I got to tell you, that's not the average. It's not a typical result. One thing that I quite like is the, the company that we deal with, the amount of people that are earning 
several thousand dollars a month, just like realistic sort of money that most people can kind of grasp. Um, is it's it's not like there's just a few people who make a ton and everybody makes nothing. Uh, this there's there's a real large middle class in at least in the company that we work with because of the way they've set up their compensation plan, and so that means that if you give it a if you do what you're supposed to do, right, you give it the effort, uh, you can earn a real nice, solid part-time income. I know people that work five hours a week at this, right, and they're earning like a thousand bucks a month. Well, try to work at a part-time job to supplement your income doing that. It's very difficult to do. So it really just, again, just depends on the resources and the time you want to put in the business. So if you join the right supplier, you can enjoy other benefits like tax advantages, earn expense paid trips, dream rewards program, uh, friends and fun, equal opportunity. There's just a lot of ton of, uh, you know, really good benefits. Now, if you join the team, um, any one of the folks that are on this webinar now, so if you were to join um, any, of, any of them, uh, then this is basically what you're gonna be able to get. So training and support. So, and two of the main reasons most businesses fail within their first five years is they just don't have any training. They don't know what to do. And it's really expensive to go out and hire consultants and then hope you got the right consultant who knows what they're talking about to make sure uh, that you win. So another problem is they don't have a proven system to follow. Unless you buy a franchise, then you've got to figure out all, all the logistics. You've got to create you know, all of your own like HR documentation, your policies, your manuals, just everything, your, your sales guides, the, the works. And that takes a long, long time. So it's much better if you can move into something that's already made for you. You just you know, dive in, get trained on what to do and get going at it. So you'll have access to free weekly live training. Uh, I am one of the coaches, but if you join someone, they would also be your primary coach uh, for one-on-one -on -one coaching. An info-packed training center. Our engaged Facebook community, so you can ask questions with other distributors and people that are doing well and people that are not doing so well trying to figure out how do they make this work. So you can see you're not the only one maybe struggling and trying to find your way. Uh, the same powerful online marketing system that we use. Now you may ask yourself, well, what if I don't know anybody? You know, how do I go out? Or maybe you're, maybe you're a little bit of an introvert and you're not that comfortable running out there and bugging your friends and family. That's a very natural thought. I mean, who wants to bug anyone really? So you might be wondering, you know, where do I go to find customers for my business? Uh, well, no problem if you'll watch what we're doing. If, we'll, if you'll take our, heed our advice. So if you don't know where to find people, we do. You may not know this, but thousands of people actually go online and search through offline ads uh, and search through on the internet looking for products in a business just like this. People are buying these products all the time right now. Um, our training will show you how, how to find these fishing holes, how to attract interested people to your website so you'll always have a steady stream of people looking at your business and your products. Now what we do is we create you those tools that help you to bring people in your direction. Uh, we, that's what my company does. We, we develop the websites and so we make sure you've got your setup to win. But don't worry, you don't have to find hundreds of people all by yourself and that's what makes network marketing so special is you are working in a team. You just need to find a few interested people every month, be consistent and you'll be able to grow your business. Now, that doesn't mean you're not gonna have challenges along the way. Every business is gonna be loaded with challenges. Uh, it's just that it's, they're not insurmountable if you're coachable and you like people, all it takes is the willingness to follow our step-by-step -step process and a strong desire to get ahead. Now, I don't want you to think that I'm saying this is easy peasy, and there's going to be no problems. It's, it's not. Uh, it's a business. So you're going to start at zero and you've got to figure things out and you've got to run through some failures and there's challenges along the way. But that's in any business. It doesn't matter what business you're in, you're gonna run into a ton of difficulties. Uh, but I can guarantee you that it's worth the effort. It's worth sticking it out. And that it actually does work for those people that, that put in the time. And I know it because I've lived it in my family. I was nine years old when my parents started their business and I've grown up in this. My aunt, who's I believe with us now, um, she's got her own business. So, all right, so if you'd like to learn more, if you think that some of this sounds interesting, it doesn't mean though that maybe you're ready for it yet and that's okay, but you just like the idea of it and you, you'd like to hear a bit more. Um, well, uh, what I'd 
what I'd love to share with you is get connected to the person who invited you to this class, okay, to this webinar, and request a, a guided tour, right, of their online classrooms. So what we've done is we put together several simple little classrooms with some real, um, you know, colorful, helpful info pack presentations and some little videos you can watch afterwards. In fact, my very first version I ever made of this before I trimmed it all down and made it a lot better was with Emily. Um, uh, I showed her this many, many years ago. Uh, well, we are still doing the same thing. So you can go in there and then you get the information you need. And if it's not a fit, then that's okay. Uh, for most people, the timing isn't quite right. But our main thing is, is to say, listen, we want to make sure you have an easy, no pressure way to take a look and understand this uh, without any fluffy hype and garbage. And then if it's a fit, fantastic. We can then show you exactly how to move forward. Or if it's not a fit, then no problem. Let's just stay in touch. Maybe you'd be interested in products or whatnot. Who knows? Uh, but either way, there's no cost to look. There's no pressure. And there's no risk. So you keep your wallet in your pocket and you can check it out. So in our educational classrooms, you'll discover all the details about the online system that we use for marketing and customer support, like how we actually find these people through the internet, how like the daily bits and pieces of how you'd make this work, the product supplier that we use and recommend and why, exactly how we get customers, the product categories and best sellers, how we create sales without selling, if you will, what you may think of as selling, um, which is kind of harassing people and bugging people that's not necessary. People are buying stuff every day. They don't need to be pushed around and sold. They just need to be educated and led to the right solutions. So we'll teach you how to do that in a very comfortable way. The benefits that our supplier offers, the startup costs, and how it all works. Um, so if you'd like a free tour of our classrooms to get a business overview, just go ahead and type in yes in the chat box and then uh, reach out to the person who invited you. So. For me, um, I know that Emily and Kim are my guests. So if you two are interested, and Emily said yes, so thank you. Let's, I'll set up a time with you, Em. I'll message you after this and uh, you know, start to show you more, start to show you my classrooms like 5.0 <laughs> after the very <laughs> first version that I had long ago. Um, and uh, so, I, uh, oh, Joellen, you're, you're my guest too? Okay. Um, well, feel free to message me on Facebook if you are. If you're not, then definitely message that person. If I find out you're not, I'll make sure you get with that uh, right person. So um, there you go. So thanks for joining the webinar. I look forward to seeing you on one of my upcoming events. If you guys are also interested in wellness, so I, I, to, to help you, we do a, a monthly business event like this so you can learn more. And then we do also a monthly wellness webinar. So that's why we call them Wednesday Wellness or Wednesday Wealthy. Um, in two weeks, we're going to be doing one called Slaying the Supplement Myths. So obviously, us being in the wellness industry and we market nutritional products, it's important that uh, our distributors understand the, the science behind this so that um, we don't talk, uh, you know, funny languages. <laughs> we can bust the myths that are out there. So I encourage you to join us. Keep your eyes out uh, to join us for that. We'll be sending you invitations for that as well. And I think that's uh, all that I have. So if you guys enjoyed this, just give me a, I enjoyed this. And then we're going to wish you guys an amazing night. Um, thanks, Diane, David, Ariella. And those of you that are in my salamat po. Yeah, uh, thanks, Kim. If you guys are in <laughs> uh, Networkers University, then I'm going to see you uh, tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m. So thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye for now.